I generally determine the size of each painting that I do based on the size of the character, the figure within the painting. I do a bunch of sketches and then determine the size or the shape of the composition. And then I know how everything is going to be laid out I might come up with a sketch that's one by one inch and that gives me the general idea of the whole painting. So this painting was first inspired by accidents that I'd done in the past. When I was working with clay, I used clay as a stand-in for what I wanted to look at, like a floor, like a dirt floor. And so I used clay because it was the easiest thing that I could actually find and I had to try to disguise it to make it look like it wasn't just clay. So with this painting, um, I enveloped the, the figure with the background material, the texture, which is just clay. And uh, in the end, I mean, because it's like really well worked, kind of warm, it almost looks like peanut butter. Neat accident that happened. The very first inspiration for this painting was a tiny sketch that I did a couple of years ago. The original sketch was not even one inch by one inch square. It was really vague. It was just this little figure sitting on the edge of a stream playing an instrument. And I liked the shape of that tiny little sketch that had barely any detail. A sketch that small is so minimal um, that it's almost abstract. It's like a little cartoon. And so to try to bring that into reality and actually make it into a real physical form was a really fun challenge because making the blue clay little guitar was kind of a childish uh, experiment with, with making something that I wouldn't have made otherwise if not for the shape of the little guitar that I drew in the original two centimeter sketch. I tried to stay true to that and and then use all of the um, the tricks of higher resolution, higher quality lighting, you know, warm and cool light and, and all the texture um, to, to bring it to life. <laughs> 